Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week we follow top fox shot Mark Ripley out with the Wraith 4K on a fox controlling mission in his home county. So I'm going to be out this evening with my mate Gary. Uh, we're going to be um, taking out the 4K Wraith from Sightmark uh, out after a few foxes on the farm. There's had quite a few of late hanging around. Um, I've just come down to another farm just to uh, check the zero on the rifle, make sure everything's tickety-boo for this evening. And uh, assuming it is, then um, I'll get all my stuff together and head off out and meet up with Gary. It's at 100 metres. I'm going to check zero with the, uh, the Wraith. Just so I'm sharpening that target off a little bit. Right, so I've got a couple of rounds on target. First one's about half an inch to the left. Uh, but dead on the horizontal, dead in line with the bullseye, and the other one's dead in line with it vertically, but probably about probably about an inch and a quarter low, I would have said. So uh, I'm not really too worried about that because it's quite breezy this evening. Um, so uh, I think for 100 to 150 yard foxing, that'll be just fine. a bit at closer ranges I mean, this gate is probably about 80 yards so if you've got a fox come around that corner there you would uh, you would nut that no problem you can zoom right in as well let's crisp that focus up a little bit there that's proper clear it's a very very sharp scope for, for daytime use and nighttime use Is 235 meters. That's on full zoom. This rabbit here sat by this by the hedge there. He's at 350 meters, so that's about 395 yards, something like that. That's on full zoom as well. I'll just click it back so you can get a bit of perspective on that. So. Still shootable. But uh, yeah, so if that was a fox, you would uh, you wouldn't have any trouble seeing it. With the Wraith 4K Zero, I pick up Gary and we head out to another farm to have a look for a fox. Get down past here, I was never quite looking at that field. Winds gusting over 20 mile an hour, shooting to the challenge.
potential. As Gary's standing around the farmyard, I head out to the valley to take a look. Not long before a fox crosses the track just ahead of me. Afterwards, I spot a second one on the bank. Turn the bag, I head back towards the farmyard to see how Gary has fared. And by the looks of it, he's been doing alright. Well, that wasn't too bad a night, was it, mate? What's that? Five in total? Yeah. So well, you had a couple then, over the back there? Yeah, yeah, I had a couple over the back. But I think that wind tonight is just too strong. Been up yeah. Here. And that moonlit tonight. Like, there's plenty of them about, but it's getting onto her and you yeah, know, she's yeah. going to get that shot. You know? Yeah, down that valley, that must be like a 20 mile an hour wind going down there. It's right up the top here with Michelle by the barns yeah. and that, isn't it? You but just can't keep the rifle on it, you know? Nah, so I, was, I had some trouble trying to keep the rifle steady. It was on a fence at one point and it was blowing around all over the place. There's no chance of getting onto them. The ideal, you know, the wind to get up to them, but it's when you get to them, you know what I mean? You just can't get I that see, rifle yeah. up, you know? Yeah, because they can't hear you coming, can nah, they? But when you get onto them, yeah. Yeah, it's right. just trying to lean against the fence post and you're wobbling about the front Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I managed to get a couple off the bipod. Yeah, I heard Joe's shots go. Yeah. I mean? yeah. Nice. yeah, no, it wasn't too bad, Tally, though. That's good no. going. What well, sort of ranges were you? Yeah, only about 80 yards, and the other one is probably about 120. You know oh, what I mean? Not yeah. too bad. Yeah, but it's, uh, like I say, they made that bit of rain like, I mean, but, uh, after that, they seem to be starting to trot around. Yeah, starting to move around a bit. Yeah. What do you reckon is the scope of it? Because you're using the HD Wraith, aren't you? The older one. Yeah, I like, I like it. it. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got on really well with it. Yeah. So I had, had the two shots of it, but yeah, performed lovely. Okay. I like the old, uh, you bring it right in nice and close. Yeah, yeah, yeah you was up against it, but because like, we had to modify your yeah. eye <laughs> yeah. up. It's got it, it wraps on the barrel there, because we've got to bring a mount for it. But, uh, yeah, it works yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. I yeah. think, you know, what I do is I think I'll probably you know, buy one myself. Yeah, let's have a go on the 4K, see what you think yeah. about that 4K, right? That, that's proper clear, it's a bit clearer than that one. Yeah, um, yeah it's quite, you know, nice and easy to use in that, but uh, I was the only problems um, spotting uh, the ones that, that I've shot with it. That's what I mean, clear. I could easily shoot and get the result with it, you know? Yeah, you need a thumb. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, good no, night. it's a good night, yeah. So, uh, we're, um, 
go around and sling them in the dead bin then, shall we? Yeah. And Farmer will be happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And you know the drill. If you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after you, looking after your sport. This has been The Shooting Show. Thank you.